Amanda, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing August favorite, so I cannot believe it's September already. Time is just flying by and I'm so excited that summer is like almost over, even though it doesn't feel that way here in Georgia. It's still like really hot. I'm just like praying for the cool down. I'm just like super over summer. <laughs> I didn't really get to enjoy summer, you know, having a baby over kind of like summer months. Like you can't really go to the pool and stuff. I didn't really want to bring her out in the heat. It's been just so hot out here. So I'm just like really, really ready for fall, even more so than usual because that's like my favorite season. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the products that I've been loving this month. And I'm actually going to start with the same favorite that I started in my last favorites. And I'm sorry, but I have to because um, it's the Lorac Pro 2. Again, I have not stopped using this palette. I literally have not used any of my other palettes since I've gotten this palette. And so if you're still contemplating getting this, you have to get it. So I think last month I was telling you guys that I was really like obsessed with the color Nectar, which I still am. But um, I've been playing around with a little bit more of the colors. And I'm just really loving... I love everything, to be honest with you. But like I really actually like this cool gray color. So I wasn't so sure if I was going to like it. And it says cool gray, but it almost looks like like a brownish gray. I don't know. It's super, super pretty. And I've been using it a lot in like my everyday go-to look, which I did film a tutorial on. Um, I've actually filmed a couple tutorials with these, and I just haven't had the time to edit them. So I think I'll have a lot for you guys um, for fall because they all are using um, colors in this palette that are a little bit more for like fall looks in my opinion. So yeah, I'll have those coming out for you guys but yeah this palette is seriously the bomb so to be honest before I got this I was like not even hardly doing eye makeup like this palette has inspired me to play with makeup again and like to actually do makeup like my eyeshadow makeup like for real for work in the morning and everything like I've just been loving it that much that I want to use it all the time next thing is my whitening lightning brow bar to go so I usually use I used to use MAC uh, Brune eyeshadow to fill my brows, but since I've gotten this, I've been using this a lot, and I just have been really loving it because I've been going for like a much fuller brow, especially as we're getting into fall, and th thick brows has actually been a huge trend for a while, but I think it looks like really, really good in the fall, and it's always like a big fall trend, so I've been kind of filling my brows a little heavier than usual. Um, and I've been using this a lot, so I wanted to mention it in this video. And I have a coupon code um, if you want to get 25% off. Uh, I'll have that listed in the info bar below. Next is um, something I got in my Ipsy bag last month, and it's the Doctor. And, you know, I like to feature these sometimes from an Ipsy bag because, first of all, a lot of people that watch this probably do get the Ipsy bags, but... Um, just because it's a sample size doesn't mean you have to like have a sample like you can go and buy the full size and so anyways this is a pore refiner primer and <clears throat> it's called pores no more by dr brandt i have not been super into primers lately honestly i've just been like i said on the go with my makeup bb cream whatever like me sitting down with the lorac pro 2 has been like me doing the most and but I've it's been trying this out because I've been having, which I know I mentioned before, some like skin issues. Like I just don't know, like some of my and it's pores, I don't know, like some of my um BB creams have just been looking like disgusting on I me, mean, like really like my skin's dry. I just don't know how to explain it. It just looks like caked. I don't like it at all. So I've been really, really selective with like the face makeup that I've been wearing. But I've been using this beforehand, and I did notice that with, like, my... I tried out my um, Too Faced BB Cream, which is one of the ones that have been giving me issues. And it looked really good. So, I don't know. I'm pretty excited about it. I think this is a really good primer. And it's, like, a creamy... Like, you can see... I'll swatch, like, a little dot of it, because... It's not a silicone-based primer. It's kind of like a... It looks like a, it's going to put some color on your face or something. But yeah, it's really, really nice. It feels really good. It kind of reminds me of the Professional by Benefit, except it's um, it blends out better. Like, I don't know, the Professional by Benefit 
to like on me sometimes like beads up I don't know it's weird um, I asked somebody at Ulta about that before and they said like you have to be really careful about when you put on your moisturizer and I'm like oh, I don't got time for all that so I hardly use it anymore but anyways that's kind of like the texture that it is if you if you're familiar with benefits professional next thing is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer I bet you haven't seen this in a while <laughs> just kidding um, we probably haven't seen this in a while in my videos because I actually ran out and I hadn't gotten to a MAC in a while, but I wear mine in NC35. This is my holy grail concealer and I would probably feature it in every single favorites if I could feature it because every there's just no concealer that works as good as this one and I've, I've tried so many and it's not that I don't like other ones, it's just none work as well as this. So... If you don't have this concealer, you're like really, I don't, like your concealer game is not strong enough. You better get it. It's really, really good. Next thing. I have quite a few MAC products this month, so I'm just going to go with MAC theme. Um, next thing is my Give Me Sun um, MSF. So I've been reaching for this. I like stopped using it for a while, and I don't know why. But anyways, I've been using it a lot lately on my face. Like, I'll do my contour with my Too Faced Chocolate Silly Bronzer because it just gives a good contour. And I blend it out with this and kind of use this as my cheek color and just gives, like, a nice glowing face. Like, it's really pretty. It's been really nice to have for summer. Um, and it's very light and it's just not, like, a whole lot of color in the face, but it just warms it's just a really, really good at warming your face up. That's exactly what it does. It's like a face warmer. Next thing is a MAC blush. So this is one of my transition blushes into fall. So it's like a summery color, kind of fally color. It's called Peach Twist. And this is such a pretty blush to me. I just, I really hope this swatch comes up good. It's kind of like bronze on... Uh, it's kind of like copper tone so that's the swatch on my finger and here it is swatched on my hand I don't know I usually like the finger swatches better so yeah it's super pretty one of my favorite blushes for MAC I kind of Next thing is a couple of products from Tarte. So, so the first thing is the Tarte Tight and Bright Eye Perfector. When I picked this product, for some reason in my head, I was thinking it was going to be more like a skincare type of product, like from a like a skincare line. And um, so when I got it and realized that it was actually a makeup, then I was like, oh. But I seriously swear by the Under Eye Priming Serum. So it's dual ended it's got an under eye priming serum and then a rejuvenating eye brightener so the under eye priming serum obviously is just like a primer and this really helps with the creasing of your concealer now if you have tried Tarte's concealer I don't know who it hasn't creased on because it definitely creases on me um, I don't know if it's because I'm 29 and I have some fine lines but or whatever anyway it always always creases and this I use this and my like did not crease on the other side the rejuvenator eye brightener it's it's like you tap it on over your concealer to brighten up under your eyes and I actually use that today Next so thing is the Amazonian clay finishing powder the smooth operator so when I actually order this from them I wanted the pressed powder um, because I do not like dealing with loose powder it's just so so messy um, when they sent this I was just like kind of close to having to do the video so I just was like I'm gonna work with it I actually really 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 like it um, I think it does a really good job um, setting under eye concealer and I feel I don't know if it's like the powder just like fills the lines better so it does a good job setting that and I actually like it really it, I really like wearing it all over my face so I was pretty excited. It's just a white powder. It's just translucent. Um, but yeah, the smooth operator and the tight and bright eye perfector get you some of that. So I picked up a few NYX lip products this month and I was going to look for those cool new lipsticks 
sticks but of course like none of my makeup stores ever have anything new when they're supposed to come out so it's really annoying um, um, but I do think my Ulta will be getting them this week because it looked like they were setting up the display and then when I asked about them they were like well we don't know we, don't, we might have them in the back we might not I'm like whatever I'll come back next week um so in the meantime I decided to pick up some soft matte creams I wanted to get some fall colors so I went with Prague and with Copenhagen and I really really like these now um, the formula on these if you haven't tried them is really good they're they're matte but they go on very nice and creamy like um, oh my god that's so pretty look at that how pretty for fall and then I got this mauvey berry color Prague which I always like as a nice everyday lip like I don't usually go super vamp to work or anything like that but after I drop my my baby and get all my kisses out I can put some lip color on and um, I think that this is totally office appropriate and I really like it and it's a nice color for fall. I also picked up a lip, a lip pencil. I always get lip pencils from them and I'm not even sure if I already have that lip pencil so when I come home I have to like check like I might already have that one because I really like NYX lip pencil so I'll always grab some when I go but this one is in mahogany and I actually didn't have it um and it's kind of like a I thought it would be a perfect lip liner ready for fall lip liner actually ready for all your long lip liner because it is a nice brown color but it's got like a mm, more like a purple base I guess like to me, I mean, it's not like super, like it's a mauve color, I guess. I hate describing colors, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's it right here. And I think this looks gorgeous under like a nude lip. I have it on today. But this has been like my favorite because of this lip combination that I'm wearing right now. So I know I featured this before and recently because it really reminds me of the Kylie Jenner lip. And it's the um, Mika Beauty Cosmetics Tinted Lip Balm in Natural. I love this color I mean I wear it so frequently but I feel like it looks just like so amazing with this lip liner like what do you guys think I don't know I love it it's like my new favorite lip combo so I wanted to um, talk about it in this video I am like really obsessing over it and I think and it's pretty close to the Kylie Jenner lip I mean maybe not not as like deep but you could deepen it I just don't fill my lips totally with this lip liner but I'm sure you could like make it work for you. I have another MAC product. Um, my Fix Plus, which I'm probably going to be out of soon. This has been getting used heavily um, because it just makes my face look so much better. Um, I feel like before I wasn't using it correctly. Like I was being very like, oh, spritz, spritz, spritz. But actually the trick is to like douse your face in it and it works amazingly. So um, now that I know how to operate it like it's supposed to, it's definitely been a favorite of mine and I'm probably gonna have to re-up soon because I've been like killing it, so. So anyways, that is all my favorites for the month of August. Right. And let me know what your favorites were this month in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like favorites. Make sure you share and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.